Hey guys, I know you heard of the little brown bag, but here is my little pink bag. It's filled with all my budgeting supplies. So if you want to see everything that's inside, stick around, watch the video to the end. Let's get it. Let's go. Jesus talking now. I know you heard that. Take a second look and you gonna replay all of that. What you here for? I guess we praise the Lord. Praise the body dropping every day. You paid the way for us. us. Body on the cross. He gave his soul for us. He let the ghost leave his body to me. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I miss you all. Your girl has been busy, but listen, I'm back here today to show you. These are some of the ways that I set up my budget budgeting in my life. I promised someone, a few people actually, that I was going to end up doing this and I just had not gotten around to it, but I figured let me go ahead and get this out of the way because we're getting deeper and deeper into the year. In fact, we are in a new quarter, so um, welcome to spring, guys, if I have not uh, engaged with you. Let's get started. I have my timer set, so once the bell goes off, we're done here. So first off, I save coins. Um, I do not carry change a lot. I mean, um, actual physical money a lot. But when I do carry money, I make sure if my bill comes up to, say, $1.49, I go ahead and I give them $2. I never give them exact change. That way they'll give me change. And then I put it in here. I got this. Uh, this is an Amazon find. And this helps me keep account of it so that I don't have to worry about wrapping all of this up and uh, packaging it, you know, the old style. What I do, if you are a member of uh, Navy Federal, not Navy Federal, I'm so sorry, Delta Community uh, Credit Union, you can, you have access to a coin counter. So you can literally go in there with this, screw the top off, dump it into the machine, it counts it for you. They give you a ticket, you take it over to the teller, you can cash out at that time or you can have them deposit into your account. So this works well if you have access to a coin counter and I do not lose any money. If you go into the grocery store, I think they take eight cents for every dollar to do that for you. Some of the Kroger's have that. So in that case, you may want to go old style. Go ahead, get your little um, coin sleeves. And then they have a different bank where when you drop it in, it'll go over to pennies, nickels, quarters, dimes. And then once it fills up, you can fold it up and uh, you're on the way. But for... This one, um, I have changed, I saved the change because I have changed the deposit. I normally let Joshua do it, but uh, I'm gonna do it today. This one here, uh, me and my bestie got this at the same time when she while she was in town. And so I have some, this I decided to put quarters only. So whenever I break this open and you do have to cut it open, I can use my, um, if you have like an updated can opener, it will just remove the seal for you around here. You could lift it off, place it back on and keep using it. Or if not, you'll have to just bust it open and then you have to get a new can and start over. They are a dollar at some uh, dollar stores and then sometimes $2 depending on where you get it from. I think we got ours from the gas station. So let me show you how that works. Here's the change I need to deposit. So all quarters will go in here. And I normally, there's probably one or two dimes in here because Joshua didn't listen and he got a little confused and he just started putting all my change in there. But let me show you how this one works and it counts it for you. So right now it does stay blank to save your battery. So once you start, this is a nickel. So you'll see once I insert and I trigger, you see how it started triggering it? So right now there is, let's turn it this way, $24.30 in there. Once I put it in, it'll be $20.35. Boom. Okay, so that's how that works there. It works wonders. I love it. It is light pink. Uh, you can tell again some things that it's pink. But um, that's some of the ways that I save money. So here's some quarters. And... We'll try to do this really, really quick. You guys don't have to sit through this. Okay, I've entered all of it except 10 cents, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in there, and that brings us to a whopping 
25, what's that, 68? Okay, so that I will have, and I put that to the side. I will not empty this into, it is to the brim. That may take me a whole another year, year and a half because I don't utilize cash, but I'm fine with that. So let's put these two to the side and bring my other one up front. Um, this is my pink ATM machine. This is also another Amazon find. Let's put that over to the side there. It's another Amazon find, but the reason I'm going to get to this last is because this comes with its own ATM card and the ATM card is inside of my budgeting planner um, bag. This is the bag that I use for my budgeting. I keep everything budgeting in here. As you can see, I have my little poodle on there. I updated this poodle. I had a another fur ball on there that was this color. And when I got this from Shein, I decided to put that on there. It says little pink bag. And if you are familiar with Bloomingdale's, especially if you're from up north, everyone is anyway. But um, the little brown bag came from Bloomingdale's. Everyone used to walk around uh, New York City, New Jersey, Philly, everywhere with the little brown bag. I have that one as well uh, with the full set. But this one I wanted to differentiate just for budgeting. So I got the little pink uh, bag and I love this. People actually use this as their... Um, their lunch bags, believe it or not. A lot of people use it as their lunch bags. So once I take my ATM card out of here, I will be placed into my little credit card slot. So I'm gonna put that back up there and let's get to this. And then I have a little more bling. Let's put a necklace on her for the video. You know, we have to jazz her up a little bit. I figure I'll save something for you guys. Okay, so I put a little necklace on her just for the video, but I am going to put this back on there because I like this little thing and I don't normally have this on there. I'm just doing it for the video to pop out the white. So let's get started in here. Let me set the bank back a little bit and we're going to go into detail about that. If you're interested in it, I will link it as well. This is my water bottle from Shein and I have been placing it in there. When I go sit in my little corner or wherever I go, I put some water in here. Uh, I have been enjoying this. This was a good buy. So if you're interested in that, I would say check it out. I'm going to lay it down. But let's go into my planner. So back here, this is my budgeting plan. This is what everything looks like. I hope you guys can get a really good look. And we'll put our little roller can over here just so that everything is visible for you. Uh, let's start back here. So what I do is I take these with me and I see everything that I have in here, I begin to feed it into here. I have primarily been using this to fund my um, person, person, Purse, uh, purchases is what I'm saying. So I want to get a luxury bag um, without my husband purchasing it. He always get them on, you know, the anniversaries or birthdays and things of that nature. But if I see something I really want, this will be all the funds that I would decide to utilize. So what I would do is take money out of here and I'll insert it into my ATM machine and I leave it there. So I'm going to place that up here because once we get to that point, that's where that money will go into back here i have my pink clear pouch please don't ask me where i got this from it is so super old i cannot recall i want to say walmart but i'm not sure you can even see it has some darkening there so um i love it because it's hot pink i know i used to take it on the truck with me a lot so it's probably came from walmart but in here i house things that i need to mark in my uh calendar or my budgeting thing i have my little k this with the um poof i do know that i got this from rainbow um i was in there i don't know it's been about a year and a half ago now and i saw these and it was like three bucks and i grabbed one just because of my initial so i will show you what i have in here i do have some newer items these are items to make corrections with. So this is a camera. I think of it as a vlogging camera um, since I primarily <laughs> do YouTube. So um, this is correction tape and you just simply pull the top off and there is the part to correct whatever you need to correct in your planner or, you know, in your budgeting thing if you did not use a pencil. So that's on Shein. 
Let's go here. These are some sticky tabs. I use these. Um, they used to have pink ones here. They're post-its. They actually come out clear and then with green tabs on the end. I utilized this in a video years ago uh, to put onto my credit cards when I had extra long nails. I would put two tabs on there and able to put my, that enabled me to pull my ATM cards in and out of ATM machines, real ones. So um, I use these also, if it's somewhere I need to sign, I could just put it there to remind myself of that. But normally there's pink ones over here, but I'm out, but I will get some more. This too is also correction tape. This is a new purchase from Shein. I love this. And you just simply pull the top off and there's your correction tape. You just go like so across the paper and correct it and put it back on. I will use these as less as possible because I don't want them to run out. Um, looking at the way they're made, uh, it looks like I'm going to be able to refill them. So because of the sections, you can tell you could kind of open it up. So that's good news because I would definitely want to keep these. I think they're just so super cute and girly, especially if you're doing your budgeting. Just say at a cafe or something. Okay, so moving right along. Here is some pink post-its. I got to keep going. Here is some staplers i have a little pink stapler i do not have it in here right now so it's in my briefcase and then this too is a piece of candy but it's also it's actually a um tape corrector as well so it's white out and i love these little things so should you buy them absolutely freaking lootly i absolutely love that so let's go give me one moment let me pause that because I know we're going to be over time. Then, of course, I bring along my checkbook so that I'll know, look at my registry, do some balancing and, and that, um, on that behalf. Here is my blinked out calculator. I got this now, what, three years ago. I remember it was like the year Joshua was born. I love this because of the gems. I use that in case I need to add subtract, divide, multiply, but mostly I love to add. Okay, here is my pen pouch. This is nice and clear. This is a new purchase from Shein. So what I did, the other stuff that I was using, I just swapped it out for newer stuff because I don't like to keep the same old stuff. You know, you want to get some cuter stuff. I added my little 3D, 3D uh, purse charm here. And, you know, that's a zip tie. So you just put that on there. And you're able to, I keep all my pens fun. This one has so many different color inks. Here is a purple diamond one. These are from Dollar Tree right here, these, uh, the, the diamond ones. And then this one, I got this in a three piece at the Dollar Tree years ago. And then there's just a pink one. So I keep that there. Moving right along. I wanted to let you see how this case is. This is housed in my Michael Kors shades. I got this case from Shein. It's clear with some type of little watermelons or something on it, but it's structure. I love it. It's so cute. Just wanted to show, uh, show you guys that it's hard there and there, but I've been utilizing it and it's so nice and slim and chic. So check that out. If you're looking for something to go with like your clear pouches, Okay, this is my office on the go. So I got these from Dollar Tree years ago and I bought several of them. So I always re-up on them. They have gem clips or paper clips, depending on how you say it. Um, there's a little roll of tape in there. There are some post-it sticks. That's the long way. They're more horizontal. Here are some wider ones. There's pink uh, little clips in there. And then here's some pink rubber bands. They do come in handy. And I also have a pink um, stapler. Okay. So this came from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if they still have them. That's been a few years ago. This is a planner that I got from Dollar Tree. No bad days. This is fairly new, but I loved how the inside looks. It actually has the month and a lot of lines. So I like that. And then you could go down here, put some activities there. So I have started utilizing it. Okay. Um, yeah, I have started utilizing it. And so, okay. It does come with, let me see if I can cover that. But you can get important dates or at the front there. Okay. 
So I like this. It's a dollar. You get some notes back here, some papers for notes. But I am utilizing this um, for budgeting and my YouTube expenses. Okay. Next, we have this book. I am putting important information in here. It is a monogram book that I got from Target. Um, I have the matching set. It's a cup. This and something else something else it was like a three piece that i got but i love this it's so freaking super cute that baby pink and gold check target uh i think they were five bucks each and they have something similar to that at shein as well and lastly here is my budgeting binder binder it has the confetti i think it's so super cute pretty it's see-through here's the calendar up front I added these hearts on there. I just wanted a little something, but not too much. And it stays. So once I open it up, it does not fall off because it fits snug there. And I like that. I've taken everything out of here. So all funds, information, everything has been removed for the purposes of the video. But I have everything right over there. So I'll just put it back. Here is the calendar. I like that. And everything is, you know like your see-through plastic. This you can, um, well, no, that one you have to open it up to take it out, but the bookmark you could pop in and out. Here is my personal ATM card for my ATM machine. So I keep that so that when I'm ready to put funds in there and I'm budgeting and doing everything, I know where this card always is. I'm gonna place it up there so I can show you that. These are some of the slots. I put them kind of like according to importance, but not 100% miscellaneous. And I love these because they open up here. The flap goes over and you just slide the money in. So nothing ever comes out of here. That's what I love. It says emergency. It may be backwards for you all, okay? Emergency, household, food. We spent a lot of money at food. It really should say Costco right there slash Walmart. Um, this is for the kids. They have anything coming up that we want to do for them. A birthday is all kind of stuff, whatever. Um, here is essentials. Here's the ruler that I use, um, bookmark that I use. It has a heart uh, when I'm making entries because they, these come with budgeting sheets. I just have um, some extras back here, but the ones that I wrote on, I took them out. Beauty, that would be like, you know, wigs, nails, things of that nature. Health, um, primarily this would be for co-pays because, you know, you have health insurance. So, um, dining out, we do a lot of that. Vacation, we love, 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 love this envelope. <laughs> Shopping, love that, but it's not that important, but it's in here. And we don't have pets, so what I did was I choose to put my registries in here. I have everything blank in here so that you guys, you know, I'm not exposing my stuff, but here is one. Did I flip it around? Yes, it's a budget sheet. So that's what it looks like. And they give you plenty of them for each envelope. And then this is the category if you want to do an overall yearly view of everything. So that is that. Uh, I'm going to package everything back up. So that is how your girl does saves her money. I don't have to go into detail about exactly what I save and all of that, but I just wanted to share with you what I do. So I grab my little, um, my purse here and I go to a corner or I, if I want, if, you know, if hugs is going to be a part of it for that moment or that section session, or I grab it and I go to like a Starbucks or something like that. And I just have this and I know exactly everything I need for budgeting is in here. This part I load up before I go out of the house if I'm doing it outside of the house. But normally I'm just in a nice little like the sitting area of my bedroom. And this is where I do this stuff unless I need to be by the computer. So we're going to put that there, that there, sit this to the side, and we're going to bring the star of the show up. One of my favorite toys. I think my daughter made this thing go viral on TikTok. Um, I'm glad it helped her career. <laughs> her TikTok career. Let's put that back in there. But this is how this works. So um, it has the date, the time, and the day. And I hope you all can see that. Okay. And you can set all of that. It does come with an alarm code. I had it set. 
But every time, Joshua just kept setting it off because if you keep trying to go in there or putting in the wrong ID or the PIN number, because it does come with the PIN number, it, it's going to go off, okay? So you can hit, here you can hit uh, balance to see what's in there. I have cleared everything so that my personal information about what's in here is not revealed and I've removed everything. So, and I've cleared the alarm code so you can hit balance and it should say zero. Oh, see, it won't do it without your card. So you have to put your ATM card in. It's so cute. I just love it. It makes saving fun. I set it to the 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 normal. Okay. And it says ATM. Okay, let's set this back over here. Uh, my little farm money is there. Okay. And so then I say, you can say, um, well, you can turn the sound off so that every time you're doing something, everyone doesn't have to know that you're utilizing your um, ATM. Here, if I want to take money out, I would hit withdraw. There is nothing to withdraw. Um, here, you can just hit, if you don't want to type it in, they have the preset $1. $5, $10, $20. So, um, and then you can also set your target goal. Once say I said that I want um, $2,000 in here and I hit my target, boom, it's going to let me know. Okay, so I had to put a few dollars in, in there just to get it going. I entered a dollar, it accepted. Now I have $41. So I put $40 in there and I just added one. So that's how that works. I absolutely love it. It tells you everything. Also, when you set the alarm, this right here is the sensor. So Joshua kept walking past. Every time someone gets near it and you have the alarm on, it will go off and it is so super loud, okay? So if you wanted to withdraw the money, you would just, you know, hit the amount and then hit withdraw and it will say open ATM. Okay, and so say if I wanted to withdraw $2, just say I hit $2 and I would hit withdraw and it says open ATM. If you could see that, and you would just press down right here and it will open up, okay? And boom, and then it resets it. Okay, so that is called ATM Savings Bank. I love this bank. It's cute. It will look cute in your office, in your uh, closet room, or wh whatever you want to call it. You know, your purse closet, on your desk, uh, my vanity. I don't keep it on my vanity. I keep it next to my vanity, but it is so super cute. It makes it so much fun to save. So I'm going to end up putting um, the monies in here after the video but i would like to put that back i'm going to take my atm card out you see that noise and now you can do nothing else with this machine it's not going to do anything without this atm card so i love that i don't have to worry about coming up short if someone gets into my office <laughs> or get a hold of my you know hold of my bank so there you go guys that is some of the ways of course with um you know your bank accounts as well i separate my business accounts and my personal accounts and things of that nature i keep money in emergency pouches all that kind of stuff you know the normal things that all of us do but that is just some of the ways that i have fun saving here's my little poodle and i thank you guys for um joining in on this on uh, these just my airpods guys i'm back into these but i thank you guys for joining in on this video with ways that i save around the house i love it i love this bag um even if you're not into budgeting this is cute for your lunch bag this is cute for your planners ladies so check it out at uh bloomingdale's or I don't know where you'll find them or <laughs> I'm not sure if Nordstrom's have them, but I definitely know Bloomingdale's. This is an ATM, ATM fine, ATM fine. Did I say ATM? This is a Amazon fine, uh, Amazon fine. Um, no, this was TG, TJ Maxx or Marshall's one of those. I forgot about that. Uh, these you can get at your convenience store, probably, um, I'm sure they're on AT on uh, on Amazon as well, overpriced. But you know, 
if that's the only way you can find it, hey, do what you have to do. So anyway, guys, you know you do not have to leave, but you do have to get out of here. Be better to yourself tomorrow than you were today. And y'all know it's never goodbye. I'll see y'all later. Hey, Jesus talking now. I know you heard that. Take a second look at you. We play all of that. We play.